Street and welcome back to my farming simulator series on the Greenwich Valley map. Yesterday we did some awesome work on our field 32 here. We made the harvest and we had quite a lot of wheat, put it in our silo which is currently filling up well. So once the price is really good and it appears to be reasonably high, we can think about selling it. Now for this episode we were talking about doing a map tour. So we had a small tour around the map yesterday where we can see that we have now our John Deere of course. We have a workplace. We have a place to put some equipment in case we expand yet more room. We also have a second shed here where we can put in even more equipment or maybe store some potatoes or something. We can see at that moment what we will do with it. We have this lined up as well. We have one awesome New Holland tractor and what we have here is a pickup. This pickup is what we will be using today. As I said yesterday, we will be going for a map tour and after the map tour, I'm probably going to sell this one. Um, I know a lot of people use it because it is easy to go by the farms and go from place to place. Maybe even tow some trailers or something with it, but I don't feel like that is the, tab, the job you need to do with a pickup. The pickup is only supposed to be for driving around the map and for now it's a cost which we don't really want to do. We can use the money, let's see how much we get for it, it's only 34k, that's fine, it's, it's a reasonable amount. That gives us the possibility to do something with the equipment. So, looking at the map, we are currently in the west side of the map. Maybe we should follow the clock, first go to Whitney, have a look here, how it's looking, maybe at the top as well. Saw no, looks interesting, there is a forest nearby, so yeah, it's not too far away. Blair Farms, right. Okay, there's a cow pasture. Okay, so let's have a look. I also connected my steering wheel and my paddles, so it will be a bit different for me to drive around now. I'm not really used to working with the wheel. Um, let's make sure I don't slip around. So we are nearly at the Whitney place. It should be on our left side. Okay, so let's see if there is something Okay, let's go check this. Well, it's just a bank, okay. And the finances are looking really bad. <laughs> I can already borrow some more. I think I was delivered yesterday, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, yeah, so we figured that one out. In case we need gas, it's really nearby. So let's head up maybe through here. Okay, sorry, passing through. I like how the cars are parked here. It's, it's really nice to see something different on the map. Oh, a football field. Maybe I should come here with the dog so we can play some soccer. Giveaway. Okay, we're not going to do that. We're just going to drive by, take this street as well because the sawmill is here. Okay, stay on the road, of course. Let's go right here because we are at the sawmill. So let's leave the car again. And of course we don't have wood now, so we can't really sell anything, but it looks good, yes. 
there's really a lot of detail in this map. If, if you look at it, it's, it's uh, even though it's really small town, it looks like a town the, the map is living. It's not just static, everything there. It looks really good. The map creator did a really good job and I think this map was created for a mod contest. So I'm really glad that it actually was done and that it has been released. Okay, so we also have something a bit further away here, so let's go check that out. Crane, which is probably just a drop off point or selling place as well. Okay, so we need to drive around. Okay, that's the drop off point. And let's just have a look. I think in the future we can just, yep, drive around the corner. That's really good. There's no need to maneuver really difficult, so in case we have. A trailer with multiple steering wheels, let's say. I can't really explain what I mean, but what I mean is this one, for example. It has a steering axis, it's not static like a normal trailer, it's really difficult to drive backwards, or at least from the abyss. So, yeah, maybe I need to learn how to drive it, maybe I need to utilize it more and just get my way around to it, yeah. Looks good. So, where are we going next? We are going to check the forest. I just want to see how dense it is. There is a way to buy it, it's only 200k, so maybe we can pick up forestry, but yeah, don't get your hopes up. I'm not really the kind of guy who likes forestry a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh, please drive carefully through the village with me. Thank you for driving carefully. So, these signs are at every village. And what you also see is that every single field has a nice fence around it, so that's really nice. Even way signs, how you need to drive, so you don't really need to pay attention. Um, Keep in mind how all the roads are going. What you also notice is that the fields are not super super large. Most of them are fairly small. Like here, it's it's oh, almost drive wrong. Um, it's it's a not a large field, but it's not a small one either, so it's a field where you can basically do a job and get it done, for me at least within an episode, if you take some of those very large ones. Yeah, it's, it's not something which you can do easily, so let's park a car here for now. I'm sure they wouldn't mind. And let's have a quick look. So, there are not too many trees, but there is a way to maneuver here. And there is a road as well filled in, that's good, so yes, yeah, it's, it's really nice. It's not too dense, it has space. Would you be able to pick these up? No, I don't think so. Okay, so let's continue our road. Let's go all the way to this one. I guess that's another town. Yeah, it should be there's four towns on the map, which is Whitney, Strait, Valley Green, and I can't read that, but that oh, Linton. Oh, okay, well, we'll check those out. I'll drive around it. Let's put on the lights. Even though it's morning, it's quite dark in here, yeah. There is also some difference in the height of the terrain, so it's not a, a completely flat map. There are some small roads between the fields as well, so that's just really good. The creator did have a think about how should I go around this, how should I 
yeah, for example, if you look at Felsbrunn, you have the possibility just to just like stop here, drive across this field and come out where I need to be just driving in one straight line. That's something I can't do here. Um, I used to do that a lot. Um, basically, since I'm creating content for you guys on YouTube, I'm trying to think about how should I drive more properly, make it a bit more realistic. I'm not... I have a green light, you need to wait for me, dude. Um, I'm not really... Okay, that would be neat if you get in that. So I'm not really thinking anymore about how can I get the job done the fastest. I'm just thinking about how can I make good content for you guys. That's what I'm trying to do. If you look here, he even tried to put on different colors on the doors. Um, it's returning every now and then, that's fine, but it's not every single house is the same. He really made good work. And I'm sure that the diversion here, which is needed for the travel road, will be staying here for a very long time. So I think I'm going to turn back, because there's nothing here. We can check the cow pasture and then uh, follow up on the mill and the barn. Yeah, that's good. Let's go back. The traffic is also present on the map, so it's not like there is no animation, like I said. Um, people are running in the towns. Yeah, they, they did a really great job, you can say that for sure. Um, as I told you, I am trying to get used to driving with a steering wheel. Um, it's sort of a lot easier. Oh, and the road here is even giving me some... Oh, wow. And yeah, I can make it. Okay, so this looks like it's with some people. Oh, this is looking very nice. Oh, it's actually a yard completely to store your equipment and such. Oh, this is really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a complete yard. Yeah, yeah of course, of course. Well, there might be several of these. Here are the sheep. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure that this is the same. And here for the pigs. And there should be another one for the horses. So, yeah. That's some pre made yards. Really nice. Even some extra tires in case we need to change them on the truck. Some bottles with probably nothing inside. Used to be water or fertilizer or something. Trailer to transport some animals. Yeah. It's not the standard robine. Let's get out, turn left here again, and let's continue to the next spot where we can have a look. The map is, seems to be fairly large, so I'm pretty sure a lot of hours have been spent in here. So on our right side. We should go around the roundabout, of course. We have the mill. And, oh, it's up here. And I barely make it. <laughs> yeah, it looks really great.
bit small if you need to maneuver here. And oh, I drove the wrong way. That's fine for now. There was no traffic, no one to notice it. Uh, let's go right here. And there should be a turn somewhere up close. Uh, I think here. Oh, it's very small. Bail cell phones. Okay, so this is actually really interesting because, yeah, you all know it's at the end of the episodes. So we will be doing bills at some point, which is obviously very clear now. Um, I think we need to go left again, so otherwise we will skip down and I just want to drive around it. Yeah, let's do that. Let's try through down. Um, I think we did this way also yesterday, uh, yesterday. Yeah, so let's go on this. So that's the one from yesterday. Oh, that's a strong bit. So detailed. I'm really surprised at how much detail the map has. It's just those tiny things. The garbage bins are outside. There are um, like um, yeah, the things to sit on. Got the words electricity. Fences, KFC, okay, <laughs> that's a good one. Um, so the sign on the map was a bank again. Let's just check to be sure where we need to be. We can follow through, that's fine, and we come in Linton. Okay, let's do that. Let's pause this guy, oh, bump the car, need to make sure that I return it in one piece. Let's have a look at the shop as well, we were here yesterday, um, no, it's the next one. What we noticed was that it was really, really small. So this already gives you an indication of what is possible to do on this map. Um, so the right side was a shop, but this here is also a cell point, um, which I also think you can drive around, which is really good. Like I said before, we're turning as such. It's a bit high, but it's totally fine, it's large enough. Okay, let's just drive outside again and turn back straight into the shop. And here we are. We should have done this at the latest point of the episode because now I can't sell the truck yet. So let's leave again. Okay, there we go. And I need to go uh, right. And another right. Everything is on our left side. Okay, so that's really good. Here is another 
bank auctioneers what's that let's have a look animal dealer oh, okay we have a biogas plant here which is actually sheep oh wow I, uh, oh I, uh, yeah let's have a look there i i didn't notice that we didn't do um a biogas plant yet oh that's that's good let's get inside so but my horse bit that's the animal dealer of course and he also has some available to view probably to buy as well maybe you get the reduction because they are already here let's quickly cross the roads for the biogas plant Okay, look at that. Looks awesome. And there is another cell point on our left side, which is Linton Mill. Seems like you can't drive around the building there, so that will be one of the more difficult ones to go to. And um, at our left side here, we have another team which you can have a look at, which is store. Oh, it's spinnery. Okay, so if we ever think about doing some cotton, this is the place to be. So, is there anything else we need to check? Of course, there is much more we can go and have a look at. But I might be going to the shop. Yeah, let's go to the shop. Let's take the place. <laughs> okay, so... Drive on the left side again. I'm sort of missing that always because we drive at the right side uh, from Belgium by the way so in case you wondered and we can do this road again at a fairly decent speed I want to overtake this car Take our left and another left. Okay, that's nice. So, oh, wrong side. We need to be here to sell the truck. There we go. So we did about 20 minutes, I think. You'll know for sure once I created this video on this truck. It's been lovely, my friends, but unfortunately, you will have to go. No repair. Okay, can always just sell it straight away. So that brings us back at 187,000. Um, when we have a quick look at the garage, we have two tractors. I'm pretty sure we can yeah, maybe just swap out the wheels on this one to the narrow ones because we only need it once we get things seated. But this will be it for today, guys. I will leave the thing I said before. Maybe you still know it, maybe you don't. For next episode. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope you had a really good day. See you later. Bye-bye.